Well, hey everybody, Angela Loria here from the Author Incubator, and I am so excited to be joined today by number one best-selling author, <laughs> Stephanie Zeiss, who knew this day would come. Uh, no. We did. No, we did. And <laughs> Stephanie is the author of Help, My Teen is Pregnant, a survival guide for moms of pregnant teens. Her book was released yesterday to uh, throngs of fans who are waiting for its release. Um, hopefully it's not tons of moms in panic, right? Uh, but tell us about your book. What is Help My Teen is Pregnant about? Well, it is for moms. It's a survival guide for moms who have just found out that their teenage daughter is pregnant. Or perhaps maybe she's just entering college and um, you know the moms are in a panic because they feel like their expectations for their daughters just blew up and they want them to really stay goal oriented and not let this be such a setback for them. So, uh, How does it really feel? Fun. Can you take us to that moment? I know you've experienced this personally. I have, twice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my daughters. You're so, over it, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure you get the mom of the year so, award. Right. So, there's, so um, the feeling, I mean, when you first find out, it's kind of just like a boot kick to the gut, you know, mm -hmm. like really wants to drop you to the ground and um, you have all of this fear and panic about what's going to happen, you know, is she going to finish high school, is she going to go to college. Um, this constant reel of questions drives you crazy. So, um, you know, and that's what the book is about. I was searching for this book when I was going through it and that's when I knew that. Now you said you went through this twice, so mm -hmm. I'm going to guess you learned some things the first time around that you maybe did differently the second yes. time around. Mm -hmm. What What's one of the mistakes you think that you made in either case or that you see that's most frequent when you're a mom in this situation? Well, I think because of the way you feel and all the fear you have, um, communication can break down with mm -hmm. you and your daughter and you really have to go inside yourself and wonder what kind of a relationship do I want with my daughter long term? You know, you're really going through some knee jerk reactions to things and she's still young and she's still a teenager first and foremost, so you have to really keep that. So you want to scream like what the hell were you thinking? Right, yeah. And that's and not that's helpful. Not, no, it's not. It makes <laughs> Seems them like a great idea. <laughs> no, they want to pack a bag and run and say, Mom, I got this figured out, I don't need your help. So mm. but, you know, really they do. And um, so you really just need to look inside yourself and decide what kind of a relationship you want to continue to have with her. So I want to talk to you about <clears throat> something personal. I think there are a lot of people who could have gone through what you've gone through and feel, I'll say shame or embarrassment mm -hmm. or want to cover it up like, oh, it's perfectly normal. Um, mm -hmm. Most people would not be like, hey, let me write a book about it and put my name on the cover. <laughs> right. So why, why do you think you wanted to do this work? Why share this and not just keep it as a little family secret? Well, um, because I don't, I mean, I guess for the first time I went through it, I did feel all the shame and embarrassment and it really does take your health down. Um, the second time um, I realized what a blessing the first grandchild was and so I have a new perspective on things. And I think that um, by sharing my experiences with other moms would really help um, them get down this unexpected path with their daughter in a much more healthy way. And I know your book's only been out a day, so I'm putting you on the spot here, but have you had feedback for moms in similar positions? I or? have. Well, I did interview or talk to a lot of moms um, while I was writing the book, so I had a privilege of, of talking with some um, really special people and their kids and um, all the fears, you know, it's kind of the same thing, the same things they're experiencing that I did. And and um, so I just, I felt like the book had to come out to, to help these moms. So somebody's listening to this and they're in this situation right now, maybe they just found this on YouTube, they Googled, help my teen is pregnant, right? <laughs> and they're thinking, what do I do next? What's that, what's the first thing if you had somebody in front of you who is freaking out and they're like what do I do well first I would just tell them okay look everything is you know everything is gonna be okay in the long run may not feel it's that not way right now. Right now. <laughs> it doesn't feel that way right now maybe you don't want to hear me say that but 
there's some work to get to that point and um, you know let me show you how to do that well they, if, so. if somebody wanted to reach out to you how can they contact you Stephanie? Uh, well, they can go on my website. It's momsofpregnantteens.com. Oh, that's a good So, you know, super easy. Teens. <laughs> I love that. Momsofpregnantteens.com. So, um, I'd be glad to, you know, help people through this. Terrific. Well, Stephanie Zeiss is the best-selling author of Help My Teen Is Pregnant, a survival guide for moms of pregnant teens. God knows if you are in that position, you need a survival guide and you need Stephanie. So momsofpregnantteens.com. Yes. Check out the book on Amazon. And um, thank you so much for joining right. us today, Stephanie. Thank you very much.